Backstage, the Austin City Limits Music Festival with Austin City Limits Radio. They are Black Alac. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. What, what up? up? So, out there, early in the day, yeah. a lot of people show up. Yeah. That's did. a little surprising, right? Very. For me. I, th- I, <laughs> I knew it was, was going to be people because this is a hometown, but I was surprised at how many people came out. And they, were, they weren't just there. They were ready to go energized. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the hometown advantage is real. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I'll Austin definitely uh, turned up, man. We're uh, really uh, pleasantly surprised to see that. So, yeah. when you're out there representing Austin as ambassadors and yep. particularly Austin hip hop, mm-hmm. you tell them what happens here is different. How? Man, I think it's. I don't. I don't think it's anything we have to necessarily spell out for them. I think our whole aesthetic is just so different. That's one of the things that we've gotten pretty consistent feedback on from the places we've gone. It's like, man, you guys are just different you guys are just not right. this is and i feel like that's the biggest calling card that we could get for the city you know versus us being like you guys know austin's different right you know just kind of being just doing our thing but do they want to in advance put you in the hey well we know houston we know yeah yeah so yeah but also the way that we hit a lot of new audiences is by going out on the road with genres that aren't necessarily our own like we hit canada with black pistol fire that's like a heavy rocky blues type vibe right so they weren't expecting anything you know what i mean so when we step up and we were a hip-hop we were rapping we're showing them you know our style our what we do um i think it captures them in a completely different way than if we were to play like rolling loud where there's 30 other hip-hop groups yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah, sure. so they already know it's something different and then when they see the show the way we deliver it you know that's probably the most consistent feedback i get too is like i don't normally listen to hip-hop but y'all are different i yeah, like y'all yeah. cool bro buy something bro <laughs> <laughs> buy it buy it we're with black lack at the yeah. austin city limits music festival a little backstory yeah. i don't know three four however many years ago I'm at Arlen one night, yep. and Jack Ingram's in the main room cutting, and he's making a Jack Ingram record. It's sure. a, it, and, it, and it's sort of a bar roomy rock Jack Ingram record. Yep. Then I duck into the smaller studio, just one door separate. Yeah. And Gary's in there working on your record, sampling or yep. trying to find a sample yep. on an old BB King record. Yeah. yeah. And there's almost nothing I've walked into in the last 25 years as Austin is that moment yeah, where right. you've got Jack and Charlie Sexton in one room <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Gary in another. <laughs> Sample and, BB King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. that's, I think, sort of the story of this group and the story of how this group fits into the city. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in our DNA, man. Like it's, it's you know, being from Austin, I think you, you grow up with an appreciation for all genres. You grow up understanding all kind of forms of music and not only from like a fan perspective from a structural perspective like how they're put together gary's a great example he's like a guitar hero a living guitar hero but he can also make really 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 sick beats man so i think you're right i think it is kind of part of the backstory of this group is like we come from what essentially is a a mashup you know of styles but because we're also well versed musically we also we all understand kind of where we fit it works we had gary on the other day and we were talking about the idea that Jimmy Vaughn took him on the road early right. on, and he's taken you, he's yeah, taken yep. Tamika, he's yeah. taken, and the list goes on and on, yep. from Jackie Benson to Black Pistol Fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, something he doesn't have to do. Sure. What have you learned from him, not musically, but as a person, even though he's your old friend? What have you learned about the way he's handled himself? I think for me, the one thing that I learned from G is just staying consistent as a person you know what i mean like throughout all of his stages that we've seen him evolve to from the beginning till now it's the same g it's the same gary you know what i mean when we go kick it to go eat or in the studio or whatever like it's it's never um some type of act or you know some something that he projects like gary is gary 100 percent of the time and to me that's a unique thing in the entertainment industry because it will turn and twist you know your personality because it amplifies easily. everything yeah. right yeah. right yeah. yeah fame does yeah. yeah for me i think it's kind of to piggyback off this you know be be a good dude like be a cool person but make sure that you're about your business like make sure that your business gets taken care of first and then you know just be yourself but don't ever feel like you can't be yourself if it hurts the business business aspect of it i feel like that's kind of what i've learned from him he's like you know he's he's the greatest but he's about his business yeah and not to offer up a spoiler but i'm going to you'll be on that big stage this evening you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what i mean yeah, we're gonna man. mix you it know. up a little for you the know, city one a time sprinkle just a little sprinkle <laughs> all right they are black like thank you gentlemen
Austin City Limits Music Festival backstage will bring you more interviews and performances throughout what's left of the weekend here in Zilker Park. Cheers.